I'm guessing I'm on. Okay, it is time for a children's story today, and it's going to go to our adventure club. So hold up your dollar bills, and boys and girls, make sure to use our manners and say thank you, okay? She's dropping her money. That's so nice of mommy to help out Emmeline. <laughs> it's so great to see these little ones, isn't it? Our church is growing. I'm so happy for that. Oh. Can anybody tell me what song Miss Clary just played? She kind of put a little twist on it. Does anybody know what that song was? No? How about a mansion? You know what happened to me today? And I want to say thank you to Urina because I had to go use her phone, and she had to look up the verse because I walked right out of my house and left the story at home. So this is going to be kind of fly by night as they say but it is about a mansion we don't probably live in a mansion here um an eskimo what kind of houses do eskimos have can anybody guess hmm they might be made of ice what would they be called what an igloo how about maybe an a tribe of indians what kind of Places did they live in? What were they? Tents, kind of teepee things. Um, let's see, what else could we? Where would a fox live? In a burrow, right? Um, let's see, where would you live? In a house? You could live in an apartment. You could live in a house. Um, do you live in a box? No, we don't live in a box. But you know, there are some homeless people that use a box to keep them warm at night, right? So there's all kinds of different houses that we could live in. But there is a verse in John. Uh, let's see if I can find it without making too much noise here. Hold up just a second. Let me turn. It's in John. That marker's probably going to have to work too long. Thank you. John 14, and this is going to be a little bit long because it's verses 1 through 6. I want you to listen. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. 
If I, I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Can anybody tell me what that means? What does having a mansion in heaven mean to you? What does that, what does that mean to you? Anyone? You know what it means to me? I don't have to worry about electricity, and I don't have to worry about a mortgage payment, and I don't have to worry about all those. I probably don't even have to worry about cleaning because I don't think we're going to be messy in heaven. How about you? I, I'm, I'm all for that. Do I see, hear any, see any hands for that? Amen, right? <laughs> I can't wait to get to heaven to see what Jesus has for us. And I have a picture of a mansion. This was the best mansion that we could find on the internet. And oh, so you guys can take this. Emmeline, would you like a picture of the mansion? Yes, we can. So I have a picture here of a mansion. And it looks pretty good. I mean, it's got two staircases. And it looks like it's got two wings and a main house and even a swimming pool. It looks like there's some. Uh, chairs around there to relax by the swimming pool. So I can't wait to get to heaven to see what God has in store for us. And I can't wait to see his idea of a mansion because I don't think it's going to be anything like this. What do you think? Can you wait? All right. So don't forget to come get your paper, okay? Okay.